Well, Shayer has been pretty healthy. Nora has developed type 1 diabetes. That has complicated her life considerably. Bader Al Shamari searched for doctors all over the world looking for someone to treat his daughter's rare lung disease. His little girl was two years old, and she was dying. Other doctors kept turning the Kuwaiti family away until Dr. Robert Wood, director of bronchology at Cincinnati Children's, answered an email and said he could help. <laughs> Dr. Wood, a specialist in rare lung disease, knew he could help fix the problem. He brought not only Bayshire here for treatment, but also her cousin, Nura, who suffers from the same thing. Dr. Wood has been treating the girls ever since by washing their lungs with salt water every three to six weeks to clear sediment that would otherwise make it impossible to breathe. Researchers at Cincinnati Children's are making progress in the laboratory that may soon lead to a cure for hereditary pulmonary alveolar proteinosis, their rare disease. Our doctors are teaching treatment techniques to physicians from Kuwait and other parts of the globe, so those doctors can perform the same procedures back home. This is very exciting to come and meet Professor Wood and his team. Uh, Cincinnati certainly is one of the very famous children's hospitals that we always hear about. It's actually a pleasure to be around here and work with this uh, professional team. Dr. Wood plans to travel to Kuwait when the girls go back home to make sure doctors there can safely care for them. Our global mission is to improve the health of children around the world. I think the story of these girls is a beautiful example of academic medicine at its best. We were presented with a sick child and we had the opportunity not only to help make the child better, but to learn about why she had her problem in the first place. I am happy and happy that I came to the Cincinnati Children's Hospital because it was the biggest hospital in the world. And I have changed my life and my family. As you can tell, I've grown pretty attached to these girls. 